Welcome to Coffee Commerce. Last episode, we talked about the history of the name of coffee and where it came from. And as you saw, those, those were just stories about where that name came from because we're not sure. We ended off talking about a cup of joe. Cup of Joe is another one of the stories where we're not exactly sure where the name came from, but we have some stories. Uh, there's four stories that I'm going to share with you today. You decide which story you think best suits the origin for a Cup of Joe. Cup of Joe is, uh, is actually a trademark of uh, Martinson Coffee. Um, Martinson Coffee trademarked it and uh, it was believed that Joe Mart Martinson, the founder of Martinson Coffee, uh, one of the original uh, coffee makers in, in the U.S., out of New York, started calling it Joe's Coffee. Uh, Andy Warhol uh, enjoyed painting pictures of uh, Martinson coffee cans in his, some of his paintings. So later on, uh, Joe's Coffee became Cup of Joe, and that Cup of Joe is what was uh, trademarked by Martinson Coffee. That's the first story. The next story is about a gentleman by the name of Joe Daniels. Joe Daniels was a secretary of the U.S. Navy in World War I. June 1st, 1914, Joe Daniels banned all alcohol on ships and instead turned to coffee as the strong drink to be used by sailors. It was seen as a drink that would help keep the sailors alert and also awake when they were needed uh, during wartime. In a way of retaliating, it was said that uh, the soldiers who would not really been able to criticize their superior officers used the cup of Joe term as a derogatory term in reference to their, their boss, Joe Daniels. That's another story. There's a third story and that relates to a little bit of our episode that we talked about in episode two which is jamoke, a cup of jamoke, or some, may, some say jamoka. Uh, a cup of jamoke was a combination of the words java and mocha. And so you would be offered a cup of, a cup of jamoke. Then over time, it was shortened to a cup of joe. That's the third story. And finally, there's a story that a cup of joe was simply a term used to describe the beverage for the average man. And back in those days, Joe was a common name, and it was even a term that was used during wartime, G.I. Joe, yeah, which meant to be the average soldier. And so we have coffee uh, as a cup of Joe, the beverage for the average man. So those are the stories that relate to coffee and in terms of a cup of Joe and you decide which story you think best suits it. Good to the last drop, but that's another story for another cup of coffee. Thank you.